Okay, welcome back to the rest. I, I'm pretty sure you can see me. Welcome back to the rest of the story. Uh, Ryan and I just got done. Did you film a? No, you didn't. Of us getting the combine together, did you? Yeah. We oh, did. Okay. Well, the combine is back together. Uh, there's a lot of colorful words involved, and it really wasn't all that terrible. Just time-consuming to do. But you can watch Ryan's video on that. I wanted to address the question on the Easy Trail grain wagon and the 7600 because they haven't moved in like two weeks or a week and a half and we are to the point where we need this tractor and we're going to be moving some equipment around. So seems how we got to go haul a load or two of manure. And this is about the best time to discuss it. And well, ow. what we're going to discuss is everybody was wondering what this black line is going from the tractor to the wagon. This is not an airline, it is the lights for the back of the wagon. Uh, the lights work really well in this thing. The only problem is, is that, I don't know, in the wiring, if I had my field lights on, they really don't, my running lights don't come on, and I would have prefer it. And I know that it's pretty much set to be like that anyway, but I would prefer it if, even with my amber lights on and my field lights on, that I would at least get my running lights too, because going up and down the road, just running the the road lights is kind of dangerous because the running lights the road lights on the 76 um, is the first setting on the the light switch and all that is out of all the lights if you guys can see anything i'm talking about um, all the lights that come on are these right here these are the only lights that come on plus the red lights on the rear fenders and then the running lights on the back of the wagon uh, well, tell you what, for the amount of traffic we get around here anymore, I mean, this isn't the East Coast, but to the point where I run at least the skirt lights or the fender lights on the tractor, so there is some illumination coming from these lights back through the wagon so people can at least see me, and also going forward, I run uh, these two, all those lights are on, man, uh, no matter what setting you have, and these lights here. I call them the skirt lights, but that way you're lit up enough that people can see you. I've had, I had a guy try to get out of his truck at me once with the 82 last year because I was blinding him or I had too much lights on, but I, he wisened up and he got back in his truck. So as far as the tractor, I mean, we're not set up for air brakes. Uh, we have nothing on this to run air brakes on any of our equipment. I'm not down crediting anybody that runs them. Um, they probably would be pretty nice. Um, those big, was it tipper wagons, the, the tandem axles that that can hold base, well it's essentially a semi <laughs> for the back of a tractor. Um, they can move a lot of, a lot of grain, a lot of forage, they have those multi-use wagons. I think it's, there's an implement up by Dodgeville, I saw one of those. I can't remember the name of them, of the wagon. But the problem is, for even for us to run something like that, we would need a tractor big enough with enough horsepower to to pull it, and also a, like heavy enough that you could be safe pulling around these hills. Um, that is a big thing that we have around here. Uh, we just had a guy from France uh, stopped in just a couple days ago. And he said exactly that, that we have such rolling hills in this part of Wisconsin. So you need the horsepower and the weight to, to be able to pull some of that stuff. And that of which we don't have, even the 8235, I mean, it's heavy enough, um, but the horsepower to pull some of that, those bigger wagons, those bigger tipper wagons, um, in our area, I mean, the horsepower requirements would be pretty significant. I do know, I've seen videos out in, well, from Europe, uh, where they are running those large forage boxes where they just have like a 6,000 series or uh, well, 7,000 series even for, for pulling stuff. And I wouldn't really be comfortable where we're at to pull something like that, at least not in our hills. So uh, the Easy Trail Wagon, it did not come with brakes on it. There are... Uh, brakes that do go on these. I'm not entirely sure if it's this brand in particular. Uh, Underfirth and Brent 
typically have them on their larger gravity wagons. This is a 500 bushel wagon. Um, that blue one we had, that like 200 bushel, it did have brakes on it. Um, and that ran completely off of the tongue pressure. If the wagon started to push too much in the tongue, the brakes would start to engage. Uh, I'm not saying I wouldn't mind them. It would definitely help going down my driveway. But we bought a wagon used, and it didn't come with, with brakes on it. And it seems how I get away with not needing them on the 76. It's not worth uh, the money to go and buy like an off-brand or anything to to put them on so all right that is the air brakes response to that so talk to you later take care take it easy keep in touch